Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about Kanye West throws shade at Pete Davidson during concert. Let's get right into it. During a listening event for his new album, Donda 2, Kanye West appeared to fire shots at Pete Davidson on February 22nd. At a concert held at Lone Depot Park Stadium in Miami, Florida, the 44-year-old All of the Lights rapper gave fans a first listen to the new record, which is available exclusively on his stem player for over $200. It wasn't long before Yeezy threw some serious shade at Davidson, who is currently dating West's estranged wife, Kim Kardashian, on Saturday Night Live. Performing a new song titled Security, Kanye rapped, Pop some, I ain't getting frisked. I put your security at risk. Pop some, I ain't getting frisked. I put your security at risk. He then sang, Okay, we gonna make this an event? Y'all need security for this. Security gonna need security for this. Never take the family picture off the fridge. Never stand between a man and his kids. Y'all ain't got enough security for this. He then said, I put your security at risk. I make your security all quit. Like, we ain't getting paid enough for this. Kanye may be making reference to his recent Instagram rant against Pete, which resulted in Kim pleading with Wes to stop jeopardizing Pete's safety. The text exchange was then shared on social media by West. Well, this is actually not the end. Kanye West and The Game have released a new video for their recent collaborative single, Easy, which, like the first one released earlier this month, features Pete Davidson being killed violently. The first clip has a crude, monochromatic climatic aesthetic, but the new one uses 3D models to create the animation. An animated version of the skinned money from the Easy singles cover art appears along West and The Game. In this clip, the monkey attacks Davidson, pinning down a blurred out avatar of the Saturday Night Live star and punching him repeatedly over West's lyric, God save me from that crash, just so I can beat Pete Davidson. The first video for Easy was widely panned due to its depiction of violence against Davidson. In the video, West kidnaps the comedian and buries him with his head exposed in a bed of soil. The rapper scatters seeds around, causing Davidson's head to sprout a rosebush. After that, West takes out a pair of gardening shears and begins trimming the roses, cutting to a close-up shot of Davidson's eyes turning white. Multiple celebrities went to bat for Davidson in the days following the video's release. For example, James Gunn, who worked with Davidson on The Suicide Squad, supported the actor and comedian, writing on Twitter, Pete Davidson is one of the nicest, sweetest guys I know. A truly generous, tender and funny spirit, he treats everyone around him with respect. Kaylee Cuoco, who stars opposite Davidson in the upcoming Meet Cute, also threw her support behind him, agreeing with Gunn's analysis. West later addressed the backlash he'd received, writing in another Instagram post that art is not a proxy for any ill or harm, and that any suggestion otherwise about my art is false and malintended. Well, it seems like Pete really lives in Kanye's head rent-free. In his short career as a celebrity, Davidson has already inspired a number of song lyrics, Ariana Grande, his ex-girlfriend, has mentioned him in a few of her songs, and Ye has inserted his feud with Davidson into yet another song. On February 11th, Fivio Foran released his single City of Gods, which features Ye and Alicia Keys, and in his verse, he appears to make a reference to hurting the comedian at work. Ye rapped, A hundred goons pulling up to SNL this afternoon. When I pull up, it's dead on arrival. In the spirit of keeping the whole world involved in their drama, the music mogul shared a text message he allegedly received from his ex's new boyfriend regarding their kids. Davidson's text to Ye reportedly read, And you as a man, I'd never get in the way of your children. It's a promise. How you guys go about raising your children is your business, not mine. I do hope one day I can meet them and we can all be friends. Ye's caption to the now-deleted post read, no, you will never meet my children. Not only that, during his Donda 2 album rollout, Ye shared a screenshot of a tweet that claimed that when Davidson was engaged to Grande, he sent intimate photos with Ariana to her ex, the late Mac Miller. The singer's big brother, Frankie Grande, was asked about it the following day. He told TMZ, I mean, listen, I've never heard of that in my life. He then added, but listen, Kanye loves to stir the pot, so nothing that he says ever surprises me at all. I wish nothing but the best to him, to his family, to Pete, and to everyone involved, especially on today, which is Valentine's Day, which is such a good day to spread love. We want to hear your thoughts on this. What do you think of this whole Pete Davidson and Kanye West drama? Let us know in the comment section below. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.